once you, we know what is method overriding, so the, in this example we have seen how to override methods. So this class B extends class A and so when you create object of B and if, when you call show it will call B show not A show. So let's run this. So that is in B show and now if I uh, just comment this method here. So I don't have show in B so if I run this it will call in a show right because we don't have uh, we don't have in uh, show in b now uh, the main purpose of or the main use of method overriding is to work with dynamic method dispatch now that's the main power of polymorphism uh, so when you say you are achieving runtime polymorphism so we are actually behind dynamic method dispatch now what exactly it means is, just to demonstrate this, let me start with an example. Let's say we have A OBJ1, okay, and let's say this is A, so I'm creating object of A. We have B, so B OBJ2 equal to new B, and let me create a reference of A as A, okay, just a, a simple reference. And now, uh, can I say a dot show? Of course not. It's because I have not created the instance for a. So this a doesn't point to any object. It's just a normal reference, which is initially null. So that's why it gives you an error. How about if I use obj1? So when I use obj1, of course it will call, because since the reference is also of a, and object is also of a, and when you run this code, you'll be getting in show A. But if I use obj2, I'll be getting second part, which is in B show in show B because the reference is of B and the object is of B. But what happens when I use when I use a statement like this? So when we have A equal to obj1 and let's call from A. Now if I run this, it says in show A, right, because we are, we are giving the object of A. And if I use obj2 and if I run this code, it will call in B show. Even if A is the reference of A, A class, it will still call in show B because it doesn't matter your reference. Well, which of which class your reference is what matters is the instance is the object so when you have object of a it will call a show if you have object of b it will call b show provided uh, provided you have you should have this inheritance relationship here so that that's that is what dynamic method dispatch because you're deciding which method to call in runtime and that's what is also called as what you say runtime polymorphism Okay, because it is achieved with the help of method overriding. So that's it. That's it from this video, which is dynamic method dispatch. So thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.